Hey, buddy, have you heard about the new fighter jet that's set to outperform all current models? Meet the F-47, the first American sixth-generation fighter. Interestingly, it's being developed by Boeing, which secured the contract even over a giant like Lockheed Martin. The F-47 will be the centerpiece of the next-generation air dominance concept aimed at building a family of systems to ensure air superiority. This aircraft will feature a significantly longer range, enhanced stealth capabilities, and increased durability, making it well-suited to handle future threats. It's expected to exceed speeds of Mach 2 and have a greater operational range than its predecessors, setting a new standard in aerial combat by employing it against targets that we cannot normally see visually, whether it is due to weather, smoke, haze, or just some sort of other thing that's obscuring the target. It's worth noting that the number 47 in the jet's name wasn't chosen by chance. It pays tribute to the legacy of the P-47 Thunderbolt, known for its crucial role during World War II, and also nods to 1947, the year the U.S. Air Force was officially established. Of course, developing such an advanced aircraft doesn't come cheap. Each F-47 is expected to cost three times more than an F-35, landing somewhere between $300 and $400 million per unit. However, if this fighter can deter war before it even starts, then such an investment is more than justified. In the past, you may have needed you know, a whole strike from a carrier to be able to do that. Now you just do it with one airplane. It's truly fascinating that on March 20th, 2025, the U.S. Air Force shocked everyone by officially confirming that Boeing had won the contract to build the sixth-generation fighter jet under the NGAD program, now officially designated as the F-47. And I'm not kidding. I couldn't believe it myself. I mean, who else would you expect to build the most advanced fighter in the world if not Lockheed Martin? They're the creators of the F-22, the masterminds behind the F-35, and undisputed kings of stealth, but no, the U.S. Air Force reviewed all the proposals, ran their top-tier analytics, and said, Boeing, here's a multi-billion dollar contract, build it. And you know why? Because unlike Lockheed, Boeing didn't just aim for an upgrade, they went for a revolution. Their project focused less on flashy promises and more on solid technical solutions. Reportedly, they pitched a flexible modular platform that can be customized for various missions, from stealth strikes to swarm drone command. And here's the kicker. They integrated AI at the core level of the system, not just as some auxiliary software. Because the future of weapons could look very different to what they look like today. Um, so we're looking at um, options to have flexible payload bays, have different missiles all contained within it. Another key point, Boeing didn't waste any time. While other companies were still warming up, they were already running classified tests on secure bases. Rumor has it they drew heavily from their work on the X-32, which lost the JSF competition to the F-35, but left them with a wealth of R&D experience. So basically, they lost back then to win now? And Lockheed Martin? Their concept looked a little too much like an F-35 in a new wrapper. Impressive? Sure. Revolutionary? Not quite. And the U.S. Air Force made it clear they don't want just another good jet. They want something that'll make any Su-57 or J-20 look like a museum piece. And Boeing seems to have delivered just that. Seriously, Boeing. The same folks who've had a rough run with commercial jets lately. But this time, they've clearly gone all in to build something that might even outclass the F-22. And this isn't just a next-gen upgrade, it's a truly new category, sixth generation. Imagine taking a Ferrari, swapping in a rocket engine, ripping off the wheels, plugging in an AI core, and saying, drive. NGAD isn't just a manned fighter jet, it's an entire platform that can operate with or without a pilot. That means if the pilot wants to fly, great. But if not, artificial intelligence will handle everything, identifying threats, making decisions, launching attacks, and even figuring out what to do after the mission is won. In short, Morpheus from the Matrix would be crying tears of joy. And here's something even cooler. There are future plans to equip it with laser weaponry. Yes, that's still in development. Ground-based systems like Helios or Dragonfire already shoot down drones and missiles, but they're too heavy and power-hungry to slap onto a jet. 
Boeing, however, has a few tricks up its sleeve, reportedly working on a more compact version with a new power system. But for now, relax. You're not roasting a turkey with a laser just yet. In the meantime, the F-47 won't be under-equipped, quite the opposite. It's loaded with some of the best conventional armaments. We're talking AIM-260 JATAM, hypersonic missiles designed to replace the AIM-120 AMRAAM, AGM-158 JASM ER, long-range precision strike missiles, and even Meteor missiles, if compatibility is confirmed. All of this lets the F-47 engage targets from ranges where the enemy doesn't even know it's being hunted. And then there's the adaptive stealth coating. Imagine an aircraft that alters its surface properties based on its environment. If the B-2 Spirit was a ghost, then the F-47 is a full-blown wizard. Radar can't see it, thermal imagers can't lock on, and some say even satellites won't catch it taking off. And here's the coolest part. The F-47 doesn't fly solo. It works in tandem with drones acting as the alpha in a swarm. Picture this. The F-47 is airborne, surrounded by a pack of autonomous wingmen that can protect, attack, and even provide Wi-Fi if needed. Wondering how much that costs? This beauty runs about $300 to $400 million per unit. That's the price of three F-35s. The logic is clear. Better to have one F-47 that can do the job of five and won't fail mid-battle. So far, the program has soaked up hundreds of billions in funding, but the Pentagon stance? It's an investment in the future. If one aircraft can prevent a war, it's worth every penny. Honestly, that logic tracks. As for the other big players, Lockheed, Northrop Grumman, this time they're watching from the sidelines. Why? Because Boeing came in with the most complete start-to-finish solution. Modular architecture, next-gen composite materials, and an engine that can sustain supersonic speeds without afterburners. Imagine that, cruising at Mach 2.5 without even lighting the afterburner. The F-22, not even close. And here's where things get really interesting. China's already promoting its J-20, and Russia is still daydreaming about some Pac FA 2.0. But the U.S. is saying loud and clear, we're already ready, and our aircraft is so far beyond yours it's not even worth dreaming about. The F-47 isn't just a weapon anymore, it's a message. A quiet warning to anyone thinking about challenging American air dominance. Don't because there's already something in the sky you can't see, and you'll only know it was there when it's already too late.